Okay, in this lesson, we are going to look at the angle properties in polygons. And polygons are shapes that have any number of sides. So a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon, a pentagon is a five-sided polygon, etc. Uh, this activity says do the following activity and get Mr. Martins to initial it for correctness. So if you've already done this activity and Mr. Martins has already initialed it for correctness, you can just skip to the next uh, video or go to the next assignment right after this activity. Uh, <clears throat> so... Again, if it's initialed, you are going to want to start to work on this study guide right here. If it's not initialed, what you're going to want to do is do the activity all the way up until uh, it tells you about this activity. <clears throat> Try it on your own. And then if you'd like to get some explanation from this video, you're more than welcome to it. So at this moment... Pause the video, try the activity on your own. It'll take maybe 20 minutes or so, 25 minutes, and then get me to initial it. Or you could do the activity on your own and then press play, and I'm going to go through it quite quickly. Okay? So pause your video, and then you can play it in a little bit. Okay. So I hope you've done the activity for yourself. I'm going to go over what you've learned or what you should have learned uh, rather quickly. Uh, it says, in sections 2.1 to 2.3, you learn that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degrees, and we can use this property to develop general relationships involving the interior angles for any polygon. So step one for activity one says, for the quadrilateral below, draw the diagonal from A to C, which is what I have already done. Okay, And this creates two triangles. So here's the idea. If one triangle is 180 degrees, the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 because that's 180 times 2. And the next question says, would the sum of the angles for all quadrilaterals be the same? And the answer is yes. Uh, because if I look at this next quadrilateral, if I draw a diagonal, it still creates two triangles. So why or why not? It's because all quadrilaterals become two triangles when drawing a diagonal. Okay, so that is all quadrilaterals are 360 degrees. Now we're going to extend that knowledge to all polygons. Now it says for all the polygons below, draw all the possible diagonals from point 8 to create triangles. So for quadrilateral 1, what you'll notice is that it creates two triangles. And that's what I say here. So the number of triangles a four-sided object creates is 2. And the angles would be 360 because that's two triangles times 180. A pentagon creates one, two, three triangles if we draw the diagonals from one point. So that's three triangles for a sum of 540 degrees. A hexagon creates one, two, three, four triangles. And four times 180 is 720 degrees in all hexagons. A heptagon creates five triangles, which is 900 degrees. And a, an octagon creates six triangles, which is 1,080 degrees. Now, what you'll notice, and here's the relationship we're looking for, is the number of sides is always two more than the number of triangles. So if I subtract two, I will always get the number of triangles. Okay, so a five-sided shape would have three triangles. A six-sided shape would have four triangles. A seven-sided shape would have five triangles, etc. So what you'll find here is it asks, says make a conjecture about the relationship between the number of sides of a polygon and the sum of the interior angles. So in English, it would say this, the sum of the angles of a polygon is always the number of sides minus 2, because that will give you the number of triangles, and then times by 180. Or the equation that you'll be given or the formula that will be given in this chapter is that the sum of the angles is always 180 degrees times the number of sides minus 2. So take the number of sides, subtract 2, and then multiply by 180. So question 4 says, use your conjecture to predict the sum of the interior angles of a dodecagon, which has 12 sides. Well, the sum is going to be 180 times 12 minus 2. Or in other words, 180 times 10 triangles, which is 1,800 degrees. That would be the sum of the angles, interior angles of a dodecagon. The next part of the activity is talking about the exterior angles. So if the first part of the activity talked about the angles inside of a polygon, the next part of the activity talks about the angles outside of a polygon. And it tells you that an interior angle, if you extend one of the sides, also has a, an exterior angle. And it will be supplementary. The two will add up to 180 together. So 
For question number one, it says the sides of a rectangle have been extended to create four exterior angles. What's the sum of the exterior angles? Well, we know if it's a rectangle that its supplement is also 90 degrees. So A would be 90 degrees, B would be 90 degrees, C would be 90 degrees, and D would be 90 degrees. So all of those exterior angles add up to 360. If we look at a different quadrilateral, so here's another shape. It's interior angles quadrilateral interior angles add up to 360 degrees as we learned in the previous activity. Now if we look at the supplements, 51 and 129 that adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, 72 and 108 add up to 180 degrees. 84 and 96 adds up to 180 degrees. And finally, 75 and 105 adds up to 180 degrees. So this question says, determine the measure of each exterior angle, which we just did, and then state the sum of the exterior angles. So if I just add up what those exterior angles are, let's find that out. 51 plus 108 plus 96 plus 105, and that is 360 degrees. Okay, uh, let's look at a pentagon. So a pentagon, again, we learned from the last activity, a pentagon would create three triangles inside of it. So these angles, interior angles, would add up to 540 degrees. And you can check that. I'm not going to. Uh, what this says is the interior angle measures are given. Determine the measure of each exterior angle. So I will do that rather quickly, which you should have already done. So this should be 55 degrees, 57 degrees, 75 degrees, <clears throat> 88 degrees, and 85 degrees. So if I add up all of those exterior angles, let's see what I get. 55 plus 57 plus 75 plus 88 plus 85, I get 360 degrees again. It's kind of interesting. So 4 says make a conjecture about the sum of the exterior angles for any polygon. And here is the idea. It's that the sum is always, for the exterior angles of a polygon, is always 360 degrees, which is kind of interesting. We'll apply that knowledge in one last question before you go ahead and start working on the study guide. So step five says determine the measure of angle W. Well, if we know all the angles except for angle W, I can add these all up. Okay, so if I add all of those angles up, I have 65 plus 45 plus 70, plus 55, plus 60, that's 295 degrees. So we know that W plus the 295 degrees equals 360. Or in other words, W is equivalent to 360 minus 295. So that's how we can apply this knowledge. It would be 65 degrees.